This is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Good morning, I'm John Delano. Welcome to another edition of the Sunday Business Page. And our very special guest this morning is Christine Waller, who's Vice President of Communications and Corporate Responsibility at Duquesne Light. Christine, great to be with you. I'm so happy you're here with us. Thanks so much for having me, John. Well, of course, I wanted you on because you are ju have just unveiled a brand new Christmas tree uh, at the Point, at Point State Park. And many of us who grew up in Pittsburgh know that for decades, we always had a Christmas tree lighted at the point that Duquesne Light was responsible for. And then last year, in 2022, we went dark. But you promised to deliver something newer and better, and I think you just might have delivered. Tell us about this new Christmas tree at the point. Well, we're really excited to bring back a uh, an iconic Pittsburgh tradition, which is a new holiday light display at Point State Park. You know, this tree was originally installed back in 1988, and it's always been a gift from Pittsburgh's electric utility, Duquesne Light Company, to the city to celebrate the warmth and, and the holiday season. Well, we all appreciate that very much. And I think uh, if I could ask you to describe what makes this tree different than what we've seen in the past. Well, this tree really belongs to the community, beginning with the fact that our employees named it. They had a voting contest and they decided to name it the Three Rivers Tree. And the installation this year is a lot more sustainable uh, it has LED pixels, 22,000 of them, incidentally, and the lights will be dynamic. There will be motion, and it'll run on a 15-minute loop. So we invite people to come down to the point and check it out. The other aspect of this tree that's so special is that it doesn't disturb the grounds of the park. That was something we were very focused on. And so even the installation of the tree is more sustainable using water ballast to keep the foundation in place. Have you moved the location at all at the point? Is it in the same spot or someplace different? It will be roughly in the same location, hopefully visible from many different parts of the city. I know that I see it when I drive into town on the Fort Pitt, uh, through the Fort Pitt Tunnel and on the bridge, and I love seeing it. Am I right in thinking that there's more colored lights in this one? This one will absolutely be more colorful. And as I mentioned, it'll be on a 15 minute loop. So the display will actually change throughout that 15 minutes, which is part of us modernizing this light display. And I too have memories, John, of driving through the Fort Pitt tunnels and coming into the city. The city itself is a celebration of so many things around the holiday season. We look forward to this tree being a new part of it. I know there was some question as to whether or not the state park would allow something like this. But if I understand correctly, the Department of Conservation and Natural Resources was able to work something out to keep alive this iconic Pittsburgh tradition. Is that correct? They've been excellent partners to us. We really appreciated the opportunity to work with them and other community members who actually helped us to create a design concept for this tree. So the DCNR, um, we very much appreciate the fact that they've worked with us on this new installation to make sure that we're respecting the sustainability of those important park grounds. I know the lights are up and running. How long will you keep them up? They'll be up through January 8th, so make sure you take an opportunity to get down to the point throughout the holiday season. Maybe take a thermos of hot chocolate and enjoy the 15-minute light display with your family and loved ones. Also, the visitors who are coming to Pittsburgh, we hope they'll check out the new display as well. And I take it, uh, Christine, you can really get up close, right? You can walk right down to the street. You can. You'll have to walk through the park grounds to get there, but um, we invite folks to, to get up close, take some pictures with us, and maybe tag Duquesne Light while you're at it. Well, this is awesome. And once again, I want to thank you for uh, being on the show. And even more importantly, thank you and Duquesne Light for bringing back the Christmas tree that so many of us remember growing up. Thank you again for being with us today. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much, John. And thank you for watching this edition of the Sunday Business Page. Have a great Sunday, everybody.